Hello there guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Fonz and today I will be reviewing all the Celotica Hydrocore colors. These are colored contact lenses for dark eyes, light eyes. They are very versatile and they have several of options. They have greens, they have blues, they have browns, you name it. Any color that you can think of, Celotica has them all. Now, before we start this video, I do want to mention that this video is all based on my opinion, my preference on the lenses. You may or may not agree to my preferences, but that's why I'm making this video for you to be able to see the contact lenses and decide for yourself. Now, these are yearly lenses and yearly lenses tend to be a bit thicker than monthly, quarterly, or daily lenses. So if you have purchased yearly Celotica lenses before and didn't like the comfort level, then I suggest looking into the new Aquarela quarterly collection, they are by far the most comfortable Celotica contact lenses I have ever tried, including the Aquarela Daily. So the first contact lens that we have here is Hydrocore Amber. Now Hydrocore Amber is on a green olive side. It's very, very similar to Mel, but I think Mel is more on the yellow side and Amber is more on the greenish olive side. The pupil hole is also very nice. You get that little blending effect towards the center with an iris pattern that mimics a natural eye. They may be a bit too bright if you are not used to wearing light colored lenses, but I honestly really like how they look on me. Next up, we have Hydrocore Aquamarine. So this color, I haven't really seen it much on YouTube, um, and I actually don't know why. It's such a beautiful turquoise color, so if you are looking for a darkish medium navy blue color, then Aquamarine is the one to go for. They do have a similar pattern like the Ambers where you get a little bit of feathering in the pupil area and also those lines around the contact lens. Very pretty color. Now Hydrocore Avella. So Hydrocore Avella, it's like a hazelnut golden color. In comparison to Hydrocore Ocre, which we will see in a bit, um, this is more on the yellowish side, like a honey browned color. I do prefer the natural colors version because it does add a limbo ring around the contact lens, but if you don't mind having the contact lens like this without a ring, I think it's a great option for you. It also goes very well with tan skin, olive skin, and it will also enhance your natural brown eye color. So if you have any of those, this contact lens is for you. And we have Hydrocore Crystal. Now, I'm not a big fan of dramatic looking contact lenses. Hydrocore Crystal can be very, very dramatic. That pupil hole though is perfect. It's super, super tight with very minimal blending effect around the pupil area. But the color is just too bright for me. Um, I think it'll look better for people that wear makeup, perhaps um, adding contrast around your eye will make it look um, more appealing to other people. But for me, I think it's just a bit too bright. Um, but I do know that there are some people that really like Hydrocore Crystal. Um, but to me, they can look a bit too zombie-ish. Um, but uh, still a beautiful color, just not for me. And we have Hydrocore Graphite. Now, this is a darkish, medium gray color, but from far away, they can appear to be on the blue side, especially if you have dark brown eyes like I do. Um, I really like the pupil hole in this contact lens as well. It has that little feathering effect. All of these lenses are looking very similar. Hydrocore Eyes. Now, Hydrocore Eyes is similar to Crystal and Graphite. It's like an in-between Graphite and Crystal. Um, not really a big fan of the eyes. I think it looks 
too grayish for my taste um a little bit too grayish white and also the pupil hole in lighter contact lenses if they're starbursty they can look pretty weird pretty odd um, i'm not really a big fan of the pupil hole of the hydrocore eyes this year at least um, but i do know that there are some people that do like um, the pupil holes to be more open and starbursty especially in lighter eye colors but for me uh, it's probably a no Hydrocore Jade. Oh gosh, Hydrocore Jade has to be one of my favorite contact lenses by Celotica. It was actually the most popular contact lens back in 2019 and 2020. It beat um, Hydrocore Quartzo and Ipanema. And honestly, it's very obvious as to why. Look at this color. Such a beautiful gemstone color emerald with lime green and little hints of bluish green in there and from far away just like the pattern of the contact lens makes it look super super natural very real looking i do wish that the pupil hole was just a bit tinier with a bit of feathering effect but honestly from far away you can't even tell like they just look so natural Another green color is Hydrocore Mel. Now in comparison to the Ambers and Jade, Hydrocore Mel is more of a lime olive green color. I know that's like a different, I know those two colors are very different, but honestly, this color can pass as both a lime or olive green. It's very similar to amber, but the ambers are more on the yellow side and the males are more on the greenish side. It should actually be the opposite because mel stands for miel, which means honey, and honey is more golden, but um, the males are actually not more golden than the ambers, but still a very beautiful color. The pupil hole in these contact lenses are also amazing, so that's a big plus. Hydrocore Ocre. So as I was saying earlier in this video, Hydrocore Ocre is more on the brownish sandy color and the Avelas are more on the golden yellow brown. So you will not be seeing any gold or yellow tones with these contact lenses. This is more for something beige and sandy. Um, not a really big fan of the Ocres. I do hope that they do something with the pupil hole in the Ocres because to me, they just don't look as appealing as the rest. Hydrocore Quartzo, wow. So these were, or still are, very, very popular in the contact lens community. And honestly, like, there's no question as to why they wouldn't be. Look at this, they just look so beautiful. They are such a beautiful gray, green, bluish color. It's like three colors in one. They can, though, be very, 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 very bright. So if you are not a big fan of bright colors, please do not go with Hydrocore Quartzos and instead go for Hydrocore Ipanema or the new Aquarela color, Samba Green. All right, now we have Hydrocore Safira. So Hydrocore Safira is very, very similar to Hydrocore Jade, but just in a blue color. Now you do get a bit um, of white tint in the contact lens. It's more noticeable when you are this close to the camera, but from far away, you cannot tell that there is white or baby blue in the contact lens. Hydrocore Topazio, another one of my favorites. But again, this is a very, very light blue color. So again, if you don't want to look like a quote unquote zombie, then please don't order these contact lenses. They are very, very bright. 
um, especially if you don't wear any makeup. I feel that if you wear makeup, it'll kind of dilute the color. It'll make it blend more naturally with uh, your skin tone, with your hair color, with the outfit that you're wearing. I digress. This color is such a beautiful baby blue color with hints of green. So it is one color that you must try someday. Hydrocore Rio Ipanema. So as I was speaking earlier about Hydrocore Quartzo and how bright, bright, bright green baby blue they were, this is a more toned down version of Hydrocore Quartzo. Similar pattern, very similar colors, but again, just a bit darker. So it doesn't look as quote unquote zombie-ish as other people may like to call um, bright, bright contact lenses. I honestly love the Hydrocore Rio Ipanemas and I do wear them on occasions and people do truly believe that they are my natural eye color. Honestly, one of my favorite contact lenses that Salotica has ever released. Hydrocore Rio Ipanema. Hydrocore Rio Buzios. This is the first true natural green color that Salotica had ever released, at least in my opinion. This color is so subtle that you can't even tell that they're contact lenses and the blending effect that it creates with your natural eye color makes it even more realistic. Now the pupil hole is not as tight as I like them to be, but when they are a darker color, I don't mind a bigger pupil hole because it just blends in more naturally with my eye color. So I really do like Hydrocore Buzios for that reason. Hydrocore Rio Copacabana. So I honestly don't wear this contact lens as much. Um, it is a greenish minty color, but without the blue, kind of like Hydrocore Ipanema but without the blue, um, it's just a pure mint green color. Um, not a big fan, but I do like how they look on me. It's, uh, I don't know how to explain it. Like I like them, but I don't like them. Um, honestly, it just depends on the mood of the day, what I'm trying to go for, if I'm feeling it or not. But people have complimented these contact lenses um, in a very positive way. And so um, that's another reason why I should wear them more often. So I should listen to people more often. Um, but yeah. Hydrocore Rio Parachi. So Hydrocore Rio Parachi is very similar to Hydrocore Eyes. And honestly, I would say that they are a better, a better version of Hydrocore Eyes in my opinion, although they almost look identical. Um, I just think that they are more natural looking. The pupil hole looks better. They blend in uh, more naturally with my natural eye color, um, with my skin tone. They are a bit darker and I don't know, just, just something about these contact lenses that make them better than Hydrocore eyes. Um, but what do you guys think? I think they look great on me. <laughs> We have Hydrocore Agata. Hydrocore Agata is the first true chocolate brown color that Salotica has ever released. This color is for people that want to enhance their natural brown eye color. They honestly don't look like contact lenses. They look so, so real. The pattern, the pupil hole, the blending is just mwah, chef's kiss, perfection. And here we have Hydrocore Cielo. Oh my gosh, these are one of the best contact lenses that Salotica has ever released. I know that I've said this probably like two or three times in this video, but I just love how Cielo looks like. It's a beautiful toned down version of Topacio. You get that sky color on a cloudy day right before it's going to rain. Um, I, oh gosh, I just don't know how to explain this color. It's just so beautiful. It's very versatile. It doesn't matter if you have dark skin, light skin, dark eyes, bright eyes, it, it, like these contact lenses are really versatile 
you cannot go wrong with Cielo. And it is one of the newest Solotica contact lenses. So go ahead and give them a try if you are a fan of blue colored contact lenses. And there you guys go. Please make sure to purchase all of your contact lenses on Solotica.com. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, like this video, leave a comment down below letting me know which one of these colors is your favorite one. And again, take care and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.